Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us quickly take a look into JUnit lifecycle annotations. JUnit provides annotations to define test execution lifecycle methods. Well, JUnit provides a special annotations that help control how our test cases runs. These annotations help set up and clean up resources for test. Well, these annotations help us set up things before a test case starts and clean up after a test case finishes. And here are the annotations at before each annotation at after each annotation at before all annotation at after all annotations. So these are the four J unit lifecycle annotations. Let us quickly take a look into one by one at before each annotation. Well, at before each annotation runs before every single test method in a test class. Think of it like uh, getting everything ready before you start a task. For example, if you are testing a calculator, you might want to reset the calculator to zero before each test so that tests don't interfere with other test cases. Next, after each annotation. Well, after each annotation runs right after each test method finishes. It's like cleaning up after you finish a task. If you opened a file during the test, you would close it here to make sure everything is tidy and ready for the next test. Next, add before all annotation. Well, add before all annotation runs once before all the test cases in a test class. It's different from add before each annotation because it only runs one time. This is useful when you have something that takes time to set up. For example, connecting to the database. So connecting to the database is kind of an expensive task. So you only want to do it once. Okay. Next, add after all annotation. Well, at after all annotation runs once after all the test cases have finished. It just like at before all, it only runs one time. So this is where you put all the cleanup tasks that should only happen once, like closing the database connection or writing a final log entry. Okay. So this is the quick introduction to these four JUnit lifecycle annotations. In upcoming lecture, we'll learn each these lifecycle annotation with examples. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.